I was telling Derek, uh, JB, uh, there's a lot of ticked off fan bases right now going, okay, what gives six years? How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Now, where are you exactly? Are you in Vegas? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually at the practice ring right now. But, what? Uh, <laughs> Working what? on your game or what? What is it? Is, did they open up a nightclub there? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I actually went home early, early somewhat uh, last night. I, my boys had uh, sports at 8 this morning. So I uh, kind of took... Uh, took the responsible route uh, last night but i'm sure saturday uh with the parade i think it's saturday night so i'm sure that'll be a late one well can you just share as a as, as a as a as a guy that uh was there at the very beginning and what you went through and you know also factor in this was a community that uh, bonded together through one of the worst mass shootings in u.s history and all of that and and the fan base and to get to the point where six years later to win win the Stanley Cups, what kind of what kind of flow of emotion uh, does that put put you at? Yeah, it's amazing. It's um, you know you you wish you were out there still uh, at that moment uh, when when the buzzer goes, but uh, just to be part of it uh, five years later, uh, still with the organization and. Uh, uh, just seeing how this city has—it's—it's it's a hockey city now. It's uh, you know, uh, I know guys want to come play here and stuff because of what they've done here uh, with the the organization, what Bill Foley's done, George and Krim, and uh, but the fan base was—it was insane last night at the rink, outside the rink. Uh, you know, it's just been uh, tremendous to see from day one, and like you said, the tragedy of one October and how this city is really become a, a community now uh to, something to rally around uh their own their own sports team you know it is something watching the community outside what people think of as vegas and the strip there i know i played some echl hockey against the wranglers back in the day and it is a, a different environment there you've had the chance to live there to be a part of that outside of the glitz and glamour part of vegas life um, and I imagine that some of the guys who were there with you in Vegas launched have kind of settled in nicely there too. When you saw the air quotes misfits get handed the Stanley cup, second, third, fourth there, were there any names in particular that stood out to you as uh, you know, like, you know, that feeling special for those particular players? Yeah. All, all of those guys, yeah. all the guys that I went through that first year, uh, you, you know, it was, I thought it was really cool that Bruce, uh, started those guys uh five of the six of them uh you know i was hoping carrier maybe get a starting goalie or something for a few seconds <laughs> out there but uh, i thought that was pretty cool to start the game off there you know it's a uh, tough tough couple shifts uh to start but to still start the that that line and it's not like the building needs to be any louder but uh starting those guys it definitely add a little more juice to the to the already insane environment there and um you know to see you know, Mark, you win. He was my choice uh, for Con Smythe. Um, I wasn't sure if they were going to go Eichel or him, but, uh, you know, I was happy to see him win that. Uh, he was phenomenal throughout the whole playoffs. And, you know, all those guys lifting that, uh, you know, just brings you back to that first year that, you know, not quite finishing what we started, but uh, to see it five years later is uh, amazing to see. We're talking to Derek Englund, former Vegas Golden Knights uh, alternate uh, captain in the inaugural year for uh the golden knights if if you look back at uh you know your stanley cup final and falling short and what you saw out of the vegas golden knights last night to to win it what is one or two things that just stood out for you um as as true different make makers oh uh, i think you know, that first year we we worked as a team uh you, you know we didn't have any the high-end talent that the team has now, you know, with Eichel and Stone and Petrangelo adding to the already um, deep organization, um, we didn't have those those top 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 guys. Uh, but the depth this year was, you know, all four lines contributed out throughout the playoffs. Uh, you, you know, you you watch them play Edmonton and you know those two lines, but we had we had three, you know, top lines, and our fourth line is is phenomenal too. So the depth and, and then the goalie carousel uh, from the all-star break on five goalies. Uh, Brassois comes in, uh, gets a starting nod and then he'll, you know, he gets hurt and he'll comes in and 
you know, I thought last night he was, he kept the game zero zero for a while there. Uh, he made some huge stops to, to, to kind of nullify their push at the beginning. And uh, then in the second, the team just took over the depth and the, the, all the, the, the skill that the team has. So what is the plan in the city? Are they going to cruise down the strip with the Stanley Cup or what's happening? Again? That? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they did last night? <laughs> did they? I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were all over last night. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, the, the strip, it's going to be Saturday night, uh, the parade. I'm not sure the exact route or anything, but uh, uh, it'll be going down the strip and I think uh, probably end up at uh, T-Mobile at the plaza there. Oh, wow. You know, if if you so, want to talk about uh, uh, somebody that, uh, I, I don't even know if the proper term's putting your neck out on the line here, but... Uh, you know, Bill Foley, and I think you've got a relationship with him. Is it a working relationship uh, at, at all? And what you can tell us about him and, you know, turning a, a quote of three years to make the playoffs, six to win the Stanley Cup and actually make it true. Uh, what's this say about this guy? Yeah, you know, I think you you look at everything he's done with with every venture he does. He doesn't go in half in. He goes all in. Uh, and it shows with the team, with the, the moves they've had to make. You know, there's been some difficult trades and all that stuff throughout the the, the first six years. Um, but he, at the end of the day, is all in uh, to guy, get a guy like Petro uh, here. Um, you know, Eichel, Stone. All, he's he's all in. Doesn't matter what uh, what it's going to take. He wants to win. And and you know, it's being on the 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 other side, not the player side. You get to see it a lot more and hear all the ventures he does he's all in for everything and you know it seems like everything he does uh, he does it the right way and it all takes off so it's uh, been amazing to see uh, and be a part of uh, part of that on that side and um, you know I'm just excited to see you know it just ended last night but excited to see what uh, what happens uh, here in the near future and uh, last one for me, Derek, just want to get your take on uh, Bruce Cassidy and, and the impact he's had this season as a, uh, you know, first year with the team here, takes them all the way to, to winning a Stanley cup. What's uh, what has he done differently there just in a unique way that has helped the team have success? Well, I, th- I think first off, uh, right at the beginning of the season, just the way he practices, um, you know, I think uh, the previous years we might've lacked that grit in front of the net, um, you know, you go to the Dallas series that we lost in Montreal. Um, the willingness to go to the net might not have been as uh, um, as much as uh, with Bruce. You, you know, the practice, you just watch him practice and everything's get to the net, uh, you, you know, um, wreak havoc on the other goalies. Because if you're, you're making a deep run, you're going to run into hot goalies. And Bobrovsky was no different. He was phenomenal, but they made it hard on him. And that's what... Uh, I think his biggest thing, and then, you, you know, taking uh, one thing that sticks out is taking, you know, Jack Eichel. He's known for his his offensive abilities. You know, he's up there with those the generational talents. But his two way game under Bruce is, you know, just taken off. He, he's he's a 200 foot player now, and I think uh, a lot has to do with how Bruce coaches and how he's developed him into that full 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 player. Hey, Derek, if, if Wayne Newton doesn't have a Stanley Cup party for the boys, I'm going to be really disappointed. Oh, I, I know I should text him. I, uh, we actually uh, met up uh, having dinner one night, and uh, we actually sh- share a birthday. So we text uh, every year on our birthdays, uh, happy birthday. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you call him Newt? Pretty crazy, <laughs> <his> boys? Yeah. <laughs> Wayner? Birthday, so, uh, yeah, you never know. It's freaking, uh, never know. <laughs> Possibilities are endless here. 